Good morning, YouTube. Toro K81 here with another figure review. Today we're gonna be reviewing the Marmot Monster Heaven Guido Goji Godzilla 1991 from Godzilla vs King Ghidorah. It's a very epic film. Go ahead and check it out. I have mentioned it before in my reviews. Um, love what they did with King Ghidorah at the end of that movie and. Yeah, that being said, I cannot wait to see what they're going to do with Godzilla King of the Monsters. Four months countdown, guys, you know, a little over four months, but um, oh my god, I I do believe that that's going to be very righteous showdown. Um, but getting back to what we're talking about right here with um, this Marmot Monster Heaven release, Guido Go Goji, or as I like to call him, Mr. Googly Eyes. You look at that. Yeah, his eyes are a little, a little weird there. Still very epic figure. But we'll go over all those facts. Now this guy's cast in a brown vinyl, as you can see. He's got black highlights all around the body. I mean, they're they're kind of hard to see because of that black vinyl. And he's got this metallic blue, gold braid right in the chest, blue with gold in the dorsal plates. And then he's got silver for the nails, as well as this nice red in here. And it's the same gold or yellow that's on the chest used for the eyes. Very nice figure, very epically made. Now, his face is a little weird, you know, from all the other Marmot figures. This guy's got a, a very peculiar sculpt for the head. It's still very awesome. Uh, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank Vinyl Kaiju Legion. Mr. James Osborne for making this figure possible. Again, this was part of my uh, Christmas haul. My my wife went ahead and went on Vinyl Kaiju Legion and searched out something that I didn't have. And yeah, she hit it right on the mark. Very awesome, very epic. Um, this is not the first figure that I've gotten from the Legion. I've got quite a couple in my collection now. And one thing I would like to go ahead and um, go over is the fact that when you do order from Vinyl Kaiju Legion, you not only get your figure, uh, but James goes ahead and puts a, these little packs together of extra stuff. I'll go ahead and show you a couple of those things. I got this Toto, or Nightmare Gamera from the Toto movie. It's very awesome, very epic. It's, um, it's actually very detailed. Let me go ahead and show you a little closer here. Adjust the camera for you guys. And uh, yeah, oh yeah, very awesome. I was very happy to have opened the package and gotten this inside it. So you guys can see that. There's a lot of detail in that figure. Very awesome. Oh yeah. Thank you very much, James, if you're watching this. I greatly appreciate this. Very epic. I'm going to have to start showcasing a couple more of the Gamera things in my collection. Um, here's another nice thing that he sent me. This tiny uh, Barugan. Very awesome. From the Showa era of the Gamera films. He's got a little bit of articulation at the head. Very cute little guy. Very awesome. And then a Barugan. What looks to be an eraser. So these are nice little extras that I'm not really expecting. Along with this, he sent like a bunch of stickers, Dragon Ball stuff, cards, and other little Ultraman things. I'm not very big on Ultraman, but anything having to do with Godzilla and Gamera, yeah, oh yeah. And thank you very much again, James, very awesome. If you guys are looking to get some vinyl figures added to your collections, go ahead and hit up Vinyl Kaiju Legion. He's a very awesome cat. I don't know Robert sent you. Go. Boom. Very nice. And he also does commissions for vinyl figures. Let's get these guys out of the way. Get back to the Goji. Now, again, this is uh, from the Marmot Monster Heaven line. Very epic figure here. And he, let me go ahead and measure him for you guys. So he is 
at nine inches exact nine inches tall length you're looking at about another nine inches from the tip of the hand to the tail and wide you're looking at about six inches at the feet but then if you look at the tail it just completely changes it up so we'll leave it at that but again, this is a very epic figure. Very happy to have this in my collection. Thank you to my wife. One thing I did notice is usually Marmot does not paint this section of the tail right here for the dorsal plates. But in this case, they actually went ahead and hit it with some black spray. It's kind of hard to see this through the camera, but that black spray really gives it a lot of depth, depth against that brown. It's very awesome. I really love the way they did that. And another thing I did note about this guy is in the head, the head here his um his teeth are actually pretty big the sculpt the sculpt for the teeth on this one are actually pretty big compared to some of the other figures in my collection now for a size comparison I'm gonna go ahead and bring out something that most of us should be familiar with by now the Desu Goji this is the Vinyl Wars release that was just recently released very awesome very epic. Oh yeah. These guys look real nice together. And he does have that body shape. You know, one thing I do want to put up from the movie. This is a very menacing, very uh very powerful sculpt for this guy, for this suit. Um absolutely loved it. Love what they did with the roar. It just really brought out that 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 aggression, you know, that fucking just really carried up from the bio goji. So, now let's go ahead and look at that. One thing I do want to point out, now that I, now that I have the Desu Goji out here, you can see that punch on the back that's not present over on this one. That reminds me a lot of the GMK, or actually GMK reminds me a lot of this, because this came out first. But it is very epic. They sound very nicely together. Another thing to note, with this guy, as opposed to other Heisei Goji figures, the dorsal plate scope is pretty small. See the dorsal plate pad? Compared to other ones, yeah, these dorsal plates are pretty small. Desu Goji plates are pretty big. But still very awesome. And this guy does stand a bit taller than the Desu Goji. But then again, this guy's looking more upright. This guy's more hunched over. Get this guy out of frame. Here's the card for this particular figure. Nothing special. Same old. I got this on it, but I gotta go ahead and take that off. I take my time with that. I don't want to damage my card. Once again, guys, give you one more shot of this guy. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and remove this. Take you in for the closer look. Yeah, it's got a bit of derpy eye going on right there, but that's not a problem. It's the same thing with the um, with the Space Godzilla Marmot made. Very epic. I really like the way they got all the folds in the skin with this guy. It's very awesome. I love this figure. It's very cool. I had actually waited to pull the trigger on this. I was going to grab the Vinyl Wars edition. I might still go ahead and do that. But when my wife surprised me with this guy in Christmas. Oh, very epic. Very awesome. Hey, you guys. Toru K81, sign it off for now, remember to like, comment, and subscribe, take care of yourselves, take care of your figures, keep the kind of faith alive, let me know of any other figures you guys might be interested in me reviewing, I'll go ahead and try to get that going, see you guys in the next figure review, goodbye.